Hi, I'm Keith, and this is my dad, Kerwin. Welcome to Father Son Galaxy. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. It's great to see you guys. So this time, we have a lot of new stuff for you. We have more content coming soon, just a quick intro for you. And this episode, we are talking about Son of Staros. It was first announced at New York Comic Con this year that in February, Marvel Comics would be releasing a five-issue comic run written by Justina Ireland with art by Pere Perez. For He's known for his acclaimed work on Iron Cat and Spider-Woman, and Justina Ireland is a New York Times best-selling author. So we are very excited to see this comic run. We will probably be reviewing it on our channel. What do you think, Dad? I think so, yeah. I, yeah, it seems... Uh... I'm very excited to hear about Sana Staros because I've been reading her stories. Um, she's gone back to 2015. Yeah, we went back to the. Okay, yeah. We'll so, so th this topic is about the five things to know about Sana Staros to get you excited and interested. Get you prepared, basically. Yeah, right, get you prepared to read this story about her. Like whenever um, something new is coming out, usually we'll do like preparation episodes. Exactly. We got that coming for the Mandalorian as well. Exactly. So what I want to do is there is a there was an article back in October, right? That was when the New York Comic Con took place from Marvel.com, and they talked about uh, you know this new series coming out. So from Marvel.com, it says Son of Stars becomes only the second Star Wars character that debut in a Marvel comic to boast her own solo series, right? And the first uh, character would be Doctor Aphra, mm -hmm. right? That's okay. not in the thing though. Down the, uh, page. Right. Yes, that's that's for me. Um, fans will see an all new side of Sana Staros. The series will reveal Sana's origins and introduce her extended family who have just become entangled with the Empire. Justina and Parade give you the kind of Star Wars joy ride, joy ride that all the new fans will thrill and smile to. And that's what the editor Mark Panisha said. It's jam-packed with action, hilarity, and characters you're sure to fall in love with. Plus, we discover some Staros family secrets that surprise even Sana. Fresh off of a string of disappointments, Sana Staros returns to her family's ancestral home for some downtime. But the reunion is far from relaxing when stormtroopers crash dinner. They seek answers that only the Staros clan have, and the family finds themselves in a collision course with the full might of the Galactic Empire. Writing Sound of Stars is an incredible honor because I really enjoyed what Alyssa Wong has done with the character in Dr. Afra, and I'm so excited to give Sana a little space to take center stage, Ireland explained. Sana is a complicated character who tends to play her cards close to her vest, and getting into her head and getting into getting to share a bit of who she is outside of her relationships with folks like Afra or Han or Leia has been a blast. I've been wanting to draw a Star Wars book since I was a kid, Perez added. I'm really doing my best to capture what I love about the franchise into the pages and to do justice to this Justina's script. From the ships to the exotic planets, the droids, the aliens, the creatures, the action, everything on this book is all I wish for and then some more. All right. So now, again, this topic is about the five things to know about Sana Staros. All right. So let's start with number one. Sana Staros is a part of this Staros lineage. Dating right? back even to the High Republic. Right. Now, if you could, you know, I forgot to bring out these two books, but I wanted to bring out the two books that introduce Avon and her mother right there on your left side. You should see it right there. Yes. Right. All right. So, Star uh, Sanos was born on Nashada, right? Um, her ancestors were actually created. They're a part of the High Republic series. They appear in these two books. Uh, Gira Staros is the senator of Hosnian Prime, and she has a daughter named Avon Staros, who is an inventor and a scientist. Those characters are actually uh, started. We, we were introduced to these characters in this book, also written by Justina Ireland, as a matter of fact. So it's a test of courage, right? And, and then you have also mission. Written by her. Yes, Mission to Disaster. This one we've reviewed on our channel before, so if you'd like to see that, check it out. It should be popping up on top of your screen right about now. So, you know, just check it out. All right, okay. All right, so that's interesting, right? So maybe they can fill in the gap between 
the High Republic and Sana's family. I don't know, but it does sound like we may get to know more of who her, maybe who her parents are. You think uh, it might maybe be, she has siblings? Think it might take place before New Hope or after? That's a good question. So I, I, I don't know. That's a very good question. How far back they're going to go? I don't know. Yeah, so that's good. So again, Sanastaros, you know, they're a, a clan, they're a family, very popular family, and they date back to the High Republic. Number two, Sana claimed that she was once married to Han Solo. Claim. <laughs> claim. So uh, the character of Sana Staros was introduced in 2015 of Star Wars, issue number four, written by Jason Aaron. Okay. Um, when we first see her, we don't know who she is because she's wearing a disguise. So she's in Tatooine. She's looking for Han Solo. She's speaking with a group of Rodians, and um, she's looking for some information as to where to find her. Solo, they're not very helpful, and she has a little run-in with the, the the Rodians. You know, it's a uh, it's like uh, Sana shoots first, uh, Sana shoots first type of thing. What's the history? <laughs> How about that? Why do they always shoot first on the Rodians? Yeah, I don't know. It's something about the Rodians, anyway. Uh, so yes, so then she doesn't get the information she's looking for, but she eventually does find Han and Leia, as a matter of fact, on this. A uh, place called the Monsula Nebula. All right. Um, so she lands her ship. So she has a ship. She lands her ship there. She finds Han Solo and she claims that Han Solo is his wife. Right. Can you imagine Leia okay. here in this? I mean, her. Uh, yeah, husband. that Han Solo is her husband. Bro, we got that incredibly mixed up. No, that's all right. That's, that's cool. Uh, so imagine that that uh sana you know is telling leia you know han is her husband and leia's hearing this for the first time and she says you know what i don't want any, any part of this stay away from me i don't you know anything about this but it, it so when they land on this uh this nebula they're actually being followed by stormtroopers so of course they were right so they're being chased by stormtroopers sana actually ends up helping han and leia escape that planet or that moon all right now nebula. yes the the nebula now her ship is called the volt cobra and they escape the star destroyer by going into hyperspace now sana does eventually admit to leia you know that I'm han really is, married yes that han was not really her husband what happened is they you know as smugglers are you know they were um oh, trying to yeah they're on well they were looking to steal some money from a big casino person you know he has a lot of money this person uh so they wanted to stage a wedding now the wedding was just a front for them to um take get the money take the credits and you know just rob this, take the credits and leave right just rob this person of 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 his fortune so they staged the wedding and so han pretended to be the husband and Sana pretended to be the wife but that's all it was it wasn't real uh so once again she admitted to leia that that was not the case all right mm -hmm. number three Sana has an off again, on again relationship with Dr. Afra. Mm -hmm. All right. So the two of them. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So they actually met at the uh, University of Barlow and they were in a relationship and they were also friends, but Afra just straight up left without an explanation and was gone for a long time. And they only met again years later when, when Leia hired Sana to look for Luke because he was being kidnapped. And Vader had hired Afra and her assassin droids to capture him. After Vader learned that Luke, the same rebel pilot that blew up the Death Star, was actually his son. So they were assigned to the same mission by different people. Yes, exactly. exactly. That's just fate, I think. <laughs> right. So they weren't expecting to run into each other, but they did. Um, you know, so of course feelings came back and you know, hard feelings and mm -hmm. you know, um No hard feelings is something that does not apply right now right right uh but you know eventually you know they were to patch things up because uh you know their their encounter or their their relationship continues maybe not on a professional not on a, a personal level but on a professional level so number four uh sana and dr afra go on these 
very dangerous missions. And one of the one of, them, the one that was one of the most Dawn. dangerous was uh, with Crimson Dawn. All right. And we spoke about Crimson Dawn. So if you wanted to go back and look at our series about the War of the Bounty Hunters. Right. You could also review that. In fact, we did with Chris Ryan's and it was a blast. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So here's here's the story. So Sonus and Dr. Afra, uh, they're working together. They work for Domina Tag, who is also a criminal. They remember the um, the tax family Ronan yes. obsessed with those rings and then got blown up. Exactly, exactly. It's a long story with uh, the 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 tag family, but uh, mm. you know, it's, Afra is working for the tag family whether she wants to or not. So she drags poor Asana into this mission. They were invited to this auction. Okay. And the auction was organized by Kira, who is the leader of Crimson Dawn, one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the galaxy. OK, now what she did, what Kira did was gather all of these criminal underworld, everybody under the sun. You know, what was black sun under the black sun? <laughs> yeah, we had, we the, had the black sun that Empire, had the huts. Yes. Vader, even Vader. Vader. Bounty hunters. Yes. Boba Fett was there. Was exactly. Right, that's right. Correctly. Exactly. Everybody was there. And the reason why is they were there to bid on. Han Solo, President Carbonite. Yes. Yes. Who thought that Han would be that valuable to, to so many people? But if you know Afro and Staros, they've got their own missions and they always try to capitalize on the ones they've been sent to. So they try to steal valuables from the criminals as well. And as you might expect, it doesn't turn out well. Blaster fire, you know, boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust, and they barely escape the auction with their lives. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, you you don't know what you're gonna get when you're with Afro. You know, Afro. No, like, no, it's like a Pandora's box. Yeah, you know, the two of them are they're they're they're, they're capitalists. They want to make money. You know, they have ways they do certain things, and it's always on the edge you know so that's how they live their living lives on the edge on the is edge. not always a good thing no it's not it's a good thing so especially when you work with dr Al. <laughs> yes right exactly uh so then let's move on to number five so number five uh the things that you should know um about last dr one. afra right the last one is that sonastaros is one of the best smugglers in the business all right rivaling even home solo and, and, yeah and there was a a, a very good issue of Star Wars, where it was Sanas, Sana, and Lando Calrissian. I mean, she, even Lando learned something from Sana. So she had this uh, plan, all right, to make a lot of money, and she, and she did, and she did very well. So here, here's how it started. Uh, so she uh, went to a, a group of pirates, all right. And she was offering them the standard issue Imperial blasters. You know, she, she has a crate of blasters. No one knows how she got the crate, but the pirates, the Krog pirates are very yeah. interested in these, in these uh, weapons. And she offers uh, them $5,000 just for that one crate, but she has 13 altogether. So she's got the one. 5,000 crates. 5,000 credits. Which is the uh, Star Wars equivalent of dollars, if you think about it. Yes, exactly. So so she's looking for a $5,000 payment. She'll give them this one crate. And then once she uh, gets the remaining 12 crates, um, she's going to ask for $15,000, right? $20,000 altogether, right? So they accept. They give her Imagine five. all the credits. Yeah. You'd be rich. You could you could be like Andor and get your own life. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Except, you know, probably... You know, probably not get captured once again and then sent to a prison facility. But yeah, you know. yeah, it's it's too dangerous. You know these 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 smugglers. But anyway, so this is this is her 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 deal. So she gets paid five thousand dollars by the pirates. She goes to the empire and offers the same deal to them and says, "Hey, you know what? I have a crate of your weapons, and I can." sell those to you <laughs> for another twenty thousand dollar credits twenty thousand credits sorry um and you know so she's talking to this uh imperial officer and he says well you know well, just tell me where you got them and you know i i won't hurt you and she says well you know you can't hurt me because you need to know where these 
you know, where these weapons are. So if it, you know, if you give me twenty thousand dollars, I could tell you exactly where they are. Sounds so, like a sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah, and, and you know what they did? They paid her twenty thousand dollars, right? And they gave her the credits. They gave, outright? yeah, I keep saying dollars, right? Twenty thousand credits. They gave her twenty thousand credits outright, and did not receive not one weapon. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And so, Get scammed. So I well, I think the reason why is you know they know that someone stole these weapons from them, right? So to cover up their embarrassment, I guess they said, okay, well, if we give her some money, like maybe we'll just keep this under the hush. Basically, because they the just M, they just know, pulled out dominoes and they went, yeah, I'll tap it out. We're done here. <laughs> you know, just if, take the credits and go. Yeah, if Vader or the Emperor were to find out that these, you know blasters are stolen that might be big trouble so mm -hmm. and I, then somebody would get force choked or barbecued <laughs> wow so anyway so so she gets twenty thousand dollars so right now she so she already has forty five thousand dollars that she made already right yeah. okay all right no actually twenty five thousand right so five thousand from uh from the prior twenty thousand credits from the empire, from the empire. so all right from the from the empire okay 25 25,000 credits she has so far. Okay. Now, she admits to Lando that she doesn't have any of the other crates. She only has the one crate. And he says, "Okay, well, where are the other crates?" And then they go to Tatooine and they show up at Hut's palace. <laughs> so Jabba the Hut apparently is the one who had the crates. He had his people stole these crates. Um so now, <laughs> uh, so Sana a and huge circle of yeah, crazy. And now Sana and Lando appears in front of the huts. Sana says to to the hut, "Well, I know who stole your crate. You got twelve crates in the back. You're missing one. I know who stole it. It was the pirates, the crog, the crog pirates. So she's blaming the pirates. All right, okay. So she says, "Well, if you wanna, you know, wanna get that crate back." I'm going to need 20,000 credits from you. All right. And this is very important information because you need to know who you can't trust. You can't trust these pirates. Now, <laughs> so now the pirates <laughs> now realize that they're being had. And apparently there was actually a pirate in Jabba's palace. And she didn't know that that pirate was there. So he revealed himself and, and called her a liar. She's the one who stole the credits. And, you know, Blaster Fire, once again, Sana, she's very good with the blaster. She, you know, takes down this pirate. She shoots first. Right. She shoots first once again. And then and then Jabba says, well, I guess you were right. So I Quick guess. Shot. Right. So I guess it was the pirates that took the uh, took the crates. OK, here's twenty thousand dollars. All right. So now she, here's so twenty thousand credits. Forty five thousand credits. So, so now she has forty five thousand credits. All right. So now and that's how you get rich, folks. Exactly. So disclaimer, please do not try this at home. This is a pyramid scheme that will get you arrested. Exactly. So now they're back on her ship. Lando and Sana, and you know Lando is so impressed that like, he couldn't believe how much you know credits she made in just a short so period of time. When Lando's blowing out the water, you know you've done good. And then she has a confession to make. So the, you remember those twelve crates that you know Jabba had in the back in his mm -hmm. palace? Well, while they were partying and having a great time and playing music, she went and stole the other twelve. <laughs> <laughs> she went and stole the other twelve what? crates. So she's got <laughs> she's got all thirteen crates. She also has forty five thousand credits, so she really made out. So she's that was she's just gonna give these yeah. same crates to other people now, and just get more money. Exactly, exactly. So and and you know, of course, she was very nice. You know, she's not cold hearted. She actually took some of the credits that she earned, right? I guess what she did was she sold the the weapons to someone else, got credits for it, and she actually gave some of this money to a hospital in her hometown. Oh yeah. Right. Uh, because the hospital was going to close so she um wanted to make sure that you know people had a place to go if they needed you know care medical See, care isn't that so, nice? after all that scamming uh, you yeah. go donate to a hospital right and she's still not going to change whether or not you get arrested though. exactly exactly so that's what happened be glad so, there's no space please <laughs> so, yeah so that's that's that was a it was a great story it was a it, it Sounds was very roundabout. Funny. Yeah, so it is roundabout. It was it was very well written, um, but that's who Sana Star is, is. You know, she is a and person. That, my friends. Yes. Five things you should know about Sana. That's Star the five is. things to know. <clears throat> yes, exactly. So she is. Uh, she's very resourceful. Um, she is smart. 
Um, and you know, she is she is very good at what she does for a living. Okay, swindle people. Yeah, she's very good at that. All you right. Know, so you know, take money from multiple different people, then steal the very thing she lied about, mm -hmm. and then go donate credits to. And, and then she donates the money to the hospital. Why not? All right. So even round of applause. even smugglers have a heart of gold. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is it, everyone. So we are looking once again looking forward to February's uh, first issue of Sana Staros. Mm -hmm. We're by, so excited to see it. Written by Justina Ireland. So we will definitely read it, and we'll discuss it and talk about it um but that's it you know so thank you very much for tuning in to this episode keith where can people find us you can find us on apple Podcasts, spotify stitcher good pods radio public did i say that already yeah no go ahead amazon music audible or wherever you get your podcasts our socials facebook twitter and instagram at politics and galaxy our website is politicsandgalaxy.com Please check out our merch store. We've got lots of merch for you and your loved ones. So our link is fathersandgalaxy.mysmartshop.com. Right. So please check that out and visit our speaker page as well. All right. Very good. So thank you very much once again. Mm -hmm. Those are the five things to know about Sana Staros. Until next time, take care. And, and we will see, see you again. again.